I'm going through the flow of adding pictures into WordPress. And the first thing I do is have to have some pictures. So here I've got three photos and they're typical right out of the camera file numbers which aren't very descriptive and won't help you find them if you have to look through them. a lot of pictures in the folders of WordPress. So these pictures are 4,000 pixels wide and we don't want anything bigger than 1,920 pixels wide. So the first thing I have to do is resize them. To do that, I open up Photoshop in my case and move the picture into Photoshop. And using Photoshop tools, I can resize the picture. So in Photoshop, it's quite simple. Image, image size, 1920. And I'll just keep this checked here so that they're proportional. Click OK. And that's the largest size picture I'd want for Photoshop. It's this big. It's plenty big, believe me. This size picture is meant to be a full screen background. If we're not using it for a full screen background, then we would use a smaller size, more like 1080. So we put in 1080 here, proportionally. Click OK. And this size is good for a very large image on any WordPress page. Photoshop has a function known as Save for Web. So with the Photoshop Save for Web function, I can choose the file format and the file quality. I'm using high, JPEG quality 60, and I click Save. And here's where I have an opportunity to give it a meaningful file name. In this case, I'm calling it Gary with the Dodge truck. And if there are several similar pictures, I might give it an ID number, something like ID-001A. Here's my picture. The file size is now 224 kilobytes, whereas originally it was 4 megabytes. That's a huge, huge difference. And the save for web is an important function because it removes the metadata, enabling it to be a smaller file photo, and Google gives it preference in SEO terms. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use other image editors, and there are plenty to find online. So here we can upload an image using the online image file editor. There's a lot these online image businesses will let you do. In this case, I can crop the image or I can rotate the image. But what I want to do is resize my image, so I want it to be no bigger than 1080 because I'm using it for a product image. I'm keeping the aspect ratio so that it doesn't get distorted. I'll just go down the numbered items and choose what I need. Image quality, best, normal. We're going to use normal and click resize image. And here you can see that we went from 4.7 megabytes down to 194.5 kilobytes. But wait, you can do even more with this image. First, I download the image. It's right here now, and it was given a crazy name, so I rename it to something normal like Dodge Truck. .jpg. And let's go find the miracle of TinyPNG. TinyPNG.com is a website that lets us further optimize images. So in the case of that image we just did, if I drag it into Tiny PMG, it uploads and it will be compressed for me. And here I've saved 44%, so I'm going for 192 kilobytes down to 111 kilobytes. And again, for SEO and fast websites, this is very important. I've downloaded the image. And now I'm ready to upload this image to the website to use for product display or whatever purpose I need. Go back to the website, go to the media library, and add new. And I can use the drag and drop function here, which I find a lot faster than easier than trying to browse for files. Once my image is in, I edit my image because I want the name to be in the proper places. So the alt text for SEO has to be here, and it can even be different. So I could make that Dodge Truck B2B Pilot House. Under description, I typically put in a keyword. Unless my theme is using the description as an actual description underneath the image. Most themes don't do this, so I use it for keywords in many cases. So I might put, I don't know, autos or trucks 
or whatever I can think of that later down the road will help me find what this picture is of. Transportation. We're all good here. I just update it. Now when I want to add my image to a post, so if I have a new post and I'm going to give it a title, test post in this case, and I want to add an image to the post, I'll find it in my library. I can check that my fields are filled out correctly. I can change them here if I think I need to. Well, yeah, I've got a, I got a typo here, don't I? Yes, I do. And I'll choose the size if I need it to link to somewhere or not. I'm going to go none. If it needs to align left, right, or center, and click insert into post. And there's my picture. Ready to go. Publish. The Divi Builder, if we're using Divi, works a little differently. So we would have to activate the Divi theme and then use the Divi Builder. But that lesson is for another time.